Aiden was born as a 24 week preemie, which means that he was born about four months early. Uh, when he was born, he had what are called grade three and grade four brain bleeds, um, which caused uh, what's called spastic diplegia, which means he can't use his legs very well at all, uh, can't really control them, and his, he has trouble with his hands as well. And because it's inside of his brain, there's a lot of problems that come along with that. He spent four months in the hospital. He was born at a pound and a half, and it took him until his due date to get out of the hospital. We were fortunate that he was able to breathe on his own. We met with a doctor who told us that with grade three and grade four brain bleeds, it was likely that Aiden wouldn't even survive, wouldn't know us, wouldn't be able to grow at all. And if he did grow, he'd be essentially a vegetable. And he recommended that we just let him go. Um, I kicked him out and uh, we fought through and it took about three weeks before he finally turned a corner. He had his first surgery when he was three weeks old. They repaired a valve in his heart and he got through that okay and he started to thrive thereafter. It took another three months for him to grow big enough to be out on his own. As soon as we got home, his skull started to expand. Uh, evidently, the brain bleeds had caused scar tissue, which made uh, it impossible for the spinal fluid in his brain to drain out the way it was supposed to. And so we met our first neurosurgeon, Dr. Steege. He showed up late one night in, a, in an emergency situation with a Black & Decker drill in his hand and told us he'd just gotten out of surgery. He told us that he was going to have to operate on Aiden right away and that uh, he was literally going to use that drill to cut a hole in our son's skull and put in what's called a shunt to redirect the fluid down into his abdomen. My boys were born um, prematurely, so they were born at 24 weeks, so that's 16 weeks premature. Ethan weighed 1 pound 6 ounces and Aiden weighed 1 pound 14 ounces when they were born. Um, they had a huge number of problems associated with prematurity, including heart defects, which ended in heart surgery, eye surgery, uh, brain hemorrhages, chronic lung disease, sepsis, hernias, failure to thrive, rickets, seizures, um, and others. Um, so that led us to a six and a half month stay in the NICU, in the hospital. After that, um, they were still on oxygen and needed uh, monitors, heart monitors, and breathing apparatuses, feeding tubes. So after that, we were actually at home in isolation for the next three years. Um, before they were born, my husband and I had been married for just a couple years. We were kind of doing the newlywed, bought a house, had good jobs, um, decided to start a family, definitely weren't prepared for that level of prematurity and medical needs for children to come around. So our life changed dramatically in every way possible after the boys came. We've been uh, going to the hospital two or three times a week for therapy. And we met a child life specialist at Swedish Hospital. And she invited us to go ride the ducks. And so we went and we found out about Starlight through the Ride the Ducks event. Aiden had a great time. He danced and he sang and he kind of was able to let go, you know, from all the problems that we have on a regular basis. We found Starlight when the boys were about three and a half years old. And that was kind of the first change for us from being completely isolated in our house without really the resources of a parental network and a support system that really showed us how to navigate being a family with critically ill children. Um, and kind of was that turning point in us having a more normal life with two boys. My wife was, you know, kind of the, the origin of my participation. She was a volunteer and, you know, we were the parents of a seriously ill child um, many years ago in a place that didn't have starlight. And I remember being in the hospital and I remember the feeling of being helpless and isolated. Starlight provides um, activities for seriously ill children uh, and their families in the forms of outings, in the forms of technology, uh, technology that's 
in the form of individual technology and games, but also the form of social networking, the way to interact with other kids um, in this technical world that we live in. And finally, it provides education, an education for the family uh, to help them deal with the situations that they're faced with day to day. Imagine having mounting medical bills and multiple car trips and expenses related to health care and all of the additional costs that our families face, um, they need extra support. And it's part of Starlight's mission to help support those families both emotionally but also financially. Starlight has improved our lives mostly by giving us the ability to get away from the stress of it. We see doctors or go to therapy or worry that something might be catastrophically wrong several times a week and it gets very easy to get locked into a bubble that way. Through Starlight we've been able to get out, go to movies, ride the ducks, we've been to the Great Wolf Lodge and just had a blast. We've met other families who are in similar circumstances and it helps to know that you're not alone. It would be a huge loss to not have this network. I think, you know, the, the financial side of it, the gifting and that type of thing, that would be unfortunate, but the big part would be the people. It's so nice to know that I can go to an event and I'm not walking into a room where I'm the only parent that has this huge burden on them. It's everybody and we're all the same. It's hard to say what our life would be like without Starlight. We've been in this situation Aiden's whole life and we've been with Starlight now for so long from such a young age for Aiden that it's, it's kind of hard to picture. But I'd imagine that without Starlight Northwest, our lives would be a little more dreary. Uh, we wouldn't get out as much and we wouldn't know as many people as we do. Starlight has certainly opened up our world for us.